Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on East Coast Manga. So today we're actually going over the BAM Anime Box. Now, this is a relatively newer company from my information. They have a couple other boxes. So they have like horror boxes and gaming boxes. And this new anime box, not only does it seem like it's a newer company, but this is also a newer box to that company. So they actually sent out a review copy for me to show you guys. So this is kind of like a sample of what you guys would get. They, their next anime box releases in November. So if you guys are interested in that, I have a link down in the description. I'm not like, I don't have an affiliate code or anything. This is just simply a link. And they didn't pay me to do this review. They just sent out the box and I was interested. So I contacted them. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, show this off to you guys just because I, I think this would be something that would be interesting for you guys and also myself. Now this subscription box, it differs to other subscription boxes because what they focus on is, you know, with obviously with 2020, you can't have conventions, you can't have all these things that you would normally have. So they wanted to take a little piece of that convention and basically give it out to people every month. And the piece of that convention that I'm talking about is the autograph portion. So every box includes a autograph of some sort. So the, so the boxes have certain series, so I know the first official one that comes out in November or is released or shipped in November, I'm not exactly sure, is like One Piece or Attack on Titan, Bleach maybe. I think there's four that it could possibly be. And you're getting a picture and it's gonna be, you know, maybe the voice actor for that picture. You know, I'm not exactly sure, but you're gonna get an autograph of some sort. So if you like that portion of, you know, conventions and stuff, being able to get autographs and, you know, just kind of have a collection that you can show off and stuff like that, I think this is gonna be really interesting. Now, if you don't really care about autographs, you know, this probably won't be the box for you but either way they also add some other neat stuff so we're gonna get into this one and see exactly what they put in there like i said i'm not being paid for this i don't work for the company i don't own any part of the company so i'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on everything uh because you know i'm not necessarily trying to sell you guys on this since i you know i don't get paid for this but if you guys do enjoy this and you know there are a bunch of good things about this then i do recommend checking it out and maybe ordering it for yourself so before we get into this box i just want to let you guys know the price for these boxes it's a monthly subscription so it's a you know reoccurring charge is i believe 35 dollars so you know if this is something that interests you you know check out the website and you know do your own research outside of this video and as we finish with the box opening if you look at it and you're like wow this is really really cool and i think it's worth the 35 dollars i think you go for it if you're kind of on the fence you know i would definitely think about it and once again i'm not you know necessarily trying to sell this to you guys because once again i'm not part of the company i don't have like you know an affiliate link or anything like that so you know it's really based off your own judgment Alrighty, so this is the box right here they shipped a box like this now my first glance i'm a person who really likes presentation and you know when it comes to just about any product so if there's really really good presentation it can sometimes uh, make up for the quality of the product now the box itself I like um, you see all around it now uh, my only issue which might just be because it's a review copy it's not an actual box going out to you know a consumer is the fact that they ship the box uh, like this and it, it kind of gets beat up and you know maybe you guys can't tell but it's kind of like dirty on the outside now you know, some people, they may not care about that at all. Some people would rather maybe them double box this or, you know, put this in some type of, you know, covering, um, you know, package type thing. You know, personally, I don't think it's the greatest presentation when you just ship the box itself. But at the same time, if all the boxes look like this and there's no, you know, like monthly, um, you know, stuff on the box, like there's no reason for people to keep the box, then I guess it's really not a big deal. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so like I was saying about presentation, this right here looks nice. Black wrapping paper with BAM all over it. Very nice. Oh, okay. So this is kind of the cover stuff. So, go into it. So, first thing I see, and hopefully the glare's not too insane, but we have uh, some Japanese snacks. They kind of look like, um, they kind of look like little corn dogs, but it says honey dip snacks, so they're definitely gonna be sweet and uh, interesting. Next thing we have out of the box, we have another snack. So we have something that kind of resembles goldfish, kind of. Don't really know too much about it. It has some, looks like steak and maybe chicken down here. I, I don't I don't really know what's going on with this, but um, we'll, we'll try everything afterwards, but uh, let's just go keep going through the box. Alrighty, so just pull out two more snacks. We have a little pink packet right here. Don't really, obviously this is some kind of candy or something like that. But yeah, we will uh, once again investigate this at the end. 
And then over here, all right, this is pretty self-explanatory. So we have a choco pie, uh, marshmallow, and chocolate. So continuing, we have some high chews right here. Uh, most of you guys probably already know about high chews. Next thing, let me read this out. So we have a BAM anime artist select card. Congratulations, this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is a special limited release for the promotional BAM anime box. More to come. So this is a promotional box and featuring fan art by Rachel Talio. Um, maybe how you pronounce it, but as you see, that's pretty cool right here. So this is pretty neat. And now, so next piece we have, uh, let me just read the back real quick. So BAM Authentic certi uh, cert Certificate of Authenticity. The fan art print from our fan art collection is exclusive to BAM Box and has been hand signed by the artist. It is guarante guaranteed to be authentic. Artist and print title can be verified at bamauthentic.com using the corresponding box number. Alrighty, so, so as you can see right here, hopefully the glare shouldn't be anything crazy. Um, this is some more artwork. This is pretty cool. I'm not sure who this is, so you can leave it down in the comments if you know. Uh, there might be a cheat sheet or something in here, but uh, this is this is pretty neat. Uh, 9 out of 50, but yeah, some more stuff you'd get. Also, before we continue and finish, there's also going to be pens included, or at least one pen included, and that's P-I-N, not P-E-N. Uh, so if you guys are into pens, those are also going to be included in the regular boxes. So for the next item, I think you guys are really going to like this. We have the corresponding signed item has been subject to examination by an expert, uh, da 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 Basically, this is Beckett certified, so this is fully authentic. Oh, this is pretty cool. So what we have here is a Hisoka print signed by, I believe, the voice actor. I don't know if it's from the original voice actor or from the dub voice actor, but I think there's some paper um, down at the bottom, so I'll be able to clear that up. But this is this thing's pretty sick. So this is basically what the like main entree to these boxes are so if something like this interests you guys the like i said the next one is i know one piece and attack on titan i can't remember the other two but it's also two very big series so this is pretty neat Alrighty, so these are the little cheat sheets that they uh give you so this is kind of like a um, menu i guess you could say so it talks about the celebrity autograph the artist stuff so the celebrity autograph was signed by the voice actor um and then obviously that's talking about trunks and then over here little description over here hopefully you guys can uh, read this so if you want to pause the video you can also do that and this is the back talking about some of the snacks so it's actually it's not all Japanese snacks it's just kind of Asian snacks in general which is kind of neat and once again hopefully you guys can read this if not I'll just post a picture of it and I will uh, put it in this video so you guys will be able to pause it and read it but some pretty cool um, information on the snacks and some you know cool facts and stuff like that alrighty so for the snack portion I'm not gonna eat these on camera you know this isn't like a, a food eating channel so I'm I'm gonna open these up I'm gonna you know share them try them out and I will uh, be back with my consensus alrighty so I'm back and I have a general consensus on these snacks so to start off this is definitely the strangest one I it wasn't necessarily bad but I'm also not gonna say it's necessarily good it's not something I would personally choose to snack on to describe the flavors you know not off of what they listed or anything like that just to describe the flavors personally I would say it's a little mixture of like barbecue with maybe some like uh, steak sauce elements to begin with and then by the end you kind of get a fishy slash like crabby you know shellfish kind of flavor and like I said it wasn't terrible you know I shared this around and no one spit it out so you know that definitely shows it wasn't uh, wasn't terrible but you know definitely not something I would snack on it has a pretty strong flavor and a pretty strong smell you know a very heavy like barbecue sauce type smell. I'm gonna show you guys what the chips look like. Uh, this is kind of, they're, they're broken. They're probably not supposed to be broken, but they're broken. Uh, but this is kind of what the chips look like, if you guys can kind of tell on here. Uh, light, kind of flaky chips. Next we have the Choco Pie. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's chocolate, it's marshmallow, it's, you know, little, um, like a, a bread center kind of. Uh, if you guys can see from here, it's it's broken and crumbled, but that's because it got pulled apart. It's, it's not a great sharing food because of how much it breaks apart, but you know, if you're just eating it by yourself, it stays together pretty well, but this was pretty good. Next, we have kind of the dessert portion. So uh, I thought these were gonna be like little candies, but they are still kind of candies, but they're like breaded candies kind of, similar to like a Pop-Tart or something like that without the outside icing. So as you guys can tell right here, this is what they look like. Uh, 
pretty cute little things. They are designed, I don't really know what the design are because it's kind of hard to make it out, but it's definitely some cute like little animal design or something like that, and then it has a strawberry filling. And then last up we have these honey dipped uh, little snack things. I thought these looked like corn dogs, but it's really just the packet, like the, the packaging and the photos or whatever. There's actually no center, so I'll show you guys right here. So this is what these little things look like. They kind of remind me of little like churro cereal things, um, if that makes any sense, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But basically honey dipped and kind of sugar coating on the outside it seems like but these are very enjoyable and that's gonna be it for this video like i said i thought this stuff was pretty interesting i thought this stuff would kind of maybe interest you guys because i know you know a lot of my viewers are obviously into anime and manga i don't know how many of you guys are into you know collecting and you know with when it comes to like signatures and stuff like that but i thought this is pretty cool i think it's gonna be a really cool display piece and i think compared to others you know anime type subscription boxes i think the autograph portion really really stands out compared to other boxes that may just you know give you obviously the the couple japanese snacks or asian snacks and then you know maybe like a manga or you know just pens or something like that you know this one i feel like really expands and gives you a little more of a anime convention type feel so if you guys enjoyed this box make sure to check out the link in the description and you know maybe consider signing up for the subscription i think the debut box is going to be really really awesome so i can't wait to check that out and hopefully i can keep this relationship going with bam if you guys want to see me unbox the first official debut box make sure to show this video some love you know you know for this video specifically likes and comments go a long way let's be it for this video so I will catch you guys later. <laughs>